The EMPEREG outcome study was a study designed to assess primarily the safety of empagliflozin in uh, patients at high risk of cardiovascular disease. So the uh, study uh, had a, a goal of uh, showing that uh, empagliflozin was uh, safe and did not increase cardiovascular risk, but at the same time, it was designed to look at whether there would be any benefit of giving this drug to patients with uh, cardiovascular disease. Did it reduce uh, mortality and uh, cardiovascular events such as myocardial infarction, stroke, and heart failure? Patient population were patients with type 2 diabetes who had a hemoglobin A1C of greater than 7% who also had cardiovascular disease, and that was defined as uh, a prior heart attack, uh, triple vessel coronary disease, or single vessel coronary disease with uh, evidence of provocable ischemia, or uh, they had a prior stroke, or they had uh, peripheral vascular disease. They had to have a creatinine clearance uh, an, sorry, an estimated glomerular filtration rate of greater than uh, 30, and they couldn't have a body mass index of greater than 45. Empagliflozin is a sodium glucose co-transporter inhibitor, and it blocks the uptake of glucose by the proximal tubule uh, in the kidney, so uh, it blocks both glucose and sodium uptake there. So it increases glucose, uh, it, it causes glycosuria. So the, the patient passes glucose in their urine and it's the glucosuria, which uh, the ex excretion of glucose, which uh, results in uh, glucose lowering and, and glycemic control. It, they're quite powerful agents. They, they, in fact, they lower gl blood glucose more than the uh, DPP-4 inhibitors, for example. So the use of these agents is in all patients with type 2 diabetes who have renal adequate renal function. Uh, and uh, so they have, they have quite a, a wide uh, application. The primary results uh, looked, the pri primary endpoint was uh, what we call triple MACE, which is a major adverse cardiac events. Uh, which included cardiovascular mortality, uh, non-fatal myocardial infarction, and non-fatal stroke. And there was a 14% reduction in this primary endpoint, uh, which uh, was, was statistically significant. This is the first uh, <coughs> glucose-lowering trial which has shown a definite primary endpoint reduction, statistically significant. The the primary endpoint of uh, the, the, the triple MACE was driven by a 38% reduction in cardiovascular mortality, and that cardiovascular mortality uh, was one component of all-cause mortality, but all-cause mortality was reduced by 32% with no reduction of uh, uh, non-cardiovascular mortality. The take-home message is that we now have a glucose-lowering agent which in patients who have cardiovascular disease saves lives. In addition to saving lives, it reduces hospitalization with heart failure, both in patients who had a prior history of heart failure, but also in individuals who had no prior history of heart failure. And heart failure is a very common event in patients with diabetes. Uh, first of all, 40% of patients with heart failure have diabetes, and up to 20%, particularly in populations of patients over the age of 65, uh, will have some degree of heart failure. And then uh, abnormal cardiac function, particularly diastolic function, is very common. And there are studies suggesting that up to 50% of patients with diabetes have abnormal relaxation of their hearts. Adverse effects of this agent are very few. The, the most common adverse effect is genital infections with uh, yeast species, um, glucose around the 
uh, genitals is often associated with yeast infections. However, this can be minimized by good genital hygiene. But in addition to that, uh, in the Emperor Egg study, there was about a 6% excess uh, of genital infections, but only 1% of patients had to stop the drug because of this. So it was a very low, uh, and, and no other side effects. So for example, there was concern about uh, fractures. We did not see an excess of fractures. We did not see an excess of uh, urinary tract infections. We did not see an excess of diabetic ketoacidosis. So a very safe agent uh, with a relatively minor side effect which can be minimized.